everybody! So, if you remember last video, I introduced you to my ma. And today, I am going to introduce you to... Paul! Otherwise known as my dad. Hello. And social media people, again, you will be familiar with this face. This face. Because Saturday nights, I usually spend drinking all of this man's wine. So I thought I would let you get to know my dad and his opinions on both me and our stories and life in general. So, Paul, people who have watched Hollowhood will be more familiar with you as David Payne. I am a Payne, yes, it is true. David Payne is the, the holiday let person who rents the guests of the Hollowhood weekend Halloween extravaganza murder fest yeah. their accommodation yeah. and yeah yes. my yes. dad played that character yes yes so tell I'm me a laid back character I am indeed laid back Paul <laughs> yes what was it like filming Hollowhead extremely interesting and full of activity and people running around screaming. Did you enjoy it? Uh, yes, I did enjoy it because it was full of people running around screaming. <laughs> would you do it again? Yes, I would, as long as I get more people running around screaming. What more. if we uh, filmed like a romantic comedy? Well, that would be, be that would mean people running around snogging. That's good. Move swiftly on. <laughs> Go drink some more I'm, wine. I'm just an, an, an ordinary person. Uh, Why did I think that interviewing my me. dad right, would be a good always idea? a very bad idea. Which of the stories in the Siren Stories universe, oh, right? Oh, think God. of the books that I've written, Paul. Yes, I yes. am. And not just me. But like me, because I'm your daughter and you yes, love me. Yes, yes, that's possibly true, yes. Which of your books in the Siren Stories universe is your favourite? The first one of the mermaid thingy. Well, the one with the mermaids in is the second book of the Lily Prospero series. The first book of the series with the mermaids in is Lily Prospero and the Magic the one, Rabbit. The one where the mermaids were harvested. That is the second was, book, in but that it's mine. Case, that I thought was a dead good book. Oh, thanks, Paul. Yes. If you were going to write a book, I'm what would you write a book about? Zombies. Really? Are they speed zombies or slow walking zombies? Well, zombies from a far away world. What world? What's it called? Alpha Centauri 36B. And the zombies of Alpha, Alpha Centauri 36B, are they human zombies or are they an alien life form zombie? Well, they can't be human because they're on Alpha. So what do these aliens look like? Are they humanoid or are they like full alien? Well, all, are we talking tentacles? All, all life forms have to conform to certain criteria. Yeah, but have they got tentacles or do they look like us? Like, are they like... No, they look a bit like us, really, because otherwise you can't evolve. Okay. Uh, so you have to have walking means and you have to have hand-holding means and you have to have brain and you have to have eyes. Okay. So why would you choose to... If your zombies from Alpha Centauri 36B basically look like humans, why wouldn't you just have human zombies? Because the zombies that arrive from Alpha Centauri B, 36B, order, in, 36B, in order to get here, would be dead because of the length of time it takes to travel here. So therefore, if they're dead, they must be zombies. I it's love very, this. It's very simple, really. All right. So when are you writing it? Tomorrow. Oh, and what's the name of your protagonist? Well, the prot pr protagonist will be the king of the Alpha Centauri B zombies. So you root for the zombies? 
Uh, no, the zombies are... It's like are, an anti-hero. Uh, the zombies are a disadvantaged race because they're, like, dead. So I think that, therefore, they need a, a certain amount of support. However, ultimately, I will root for, root for the humans because they don't want to be taken over by zombies. Right, coming to a bookstore near you. Paul, what is your favourite cheese? Mmm, the white crumbly one. Uh, K uh, Kfilly, is it? I can't remember. The white, the, the, the white crumb, crumbly one. Mozzarella? No. Cheddar? No. Brie? No, it's white crumbly, Kfilly, I think it is. Kfilly. What do you have it with? Biscuits. <laughs> or sometimes a little bit of bread. Okay, what is your favourite song? Ooh, 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 favourite song. Oh, well, Barry Manilow does a good thing. I um, agree. A bit of Lola, she was a showgirl. Ah, uh, exactly, that's brilliant. That is. That's a Barry Manilow. No, no, with the yellow feathers in her hair and her dress cut down to there. Yeah, that's... Uh, my mother doubted me a then. Real, a real high on my, in my song, Not Lola. Song, song, song list. Honestly, my mother doubts me. Okay, I have a question, Paul. Oh, uh, God, yes. Am I more like you or Ma? Me. <laughs> Why? Well, because you keep trying these brainless things. Whereas, <laughs> whereas, whereas Ma doesn't really do brainless. Mm. Mm. <laughs> People of social media and YouTube, you have just had a real insight into half of my genealogy. You have indeed, yes, exactly. I am responsible for, for that. Half of that. Um, well, I got my well, my my. Yeah. No, I no, look. We've already good. established, right? I look like my mother. Which means you are to blame for all the other stuff. Yes, you may look like your mother, but you have the brain of your father. Oh my! Go for some more wine. Well, that's also good. Yes, intravenous is always a good plan. I feel like people have learned a lot with this little session. Have they? Yes. Oh, good. Mm. Did you enjoy it? Talking to the YouTuber people? No. No? Would you do it again? Yes. <laughs> well, you know, one has to do stuff that one doesn't enjoy. It's life. 